Hey, good morning. Samuel J. here. So, uh, check out what I posted on Instagram and Facebook. I was thinking a lot about the ending of the movie Spider-Man, the, the last one. I think it's like No Way From Home, No Way Home. I explain it all in my post. If you just look up Kirby, I think it's Samuel Israel David Dumpsha. Jacob Dumpsha. Samuel, you'll just look for this face. I'm wearing like a burgundy shirt or something, unless I change the profile pic. <clears throat> but I just want to explain real quick while I'm on my morning PT and then drink some water. I don't want to explain too much because it's kind of crispy out and I need to save some breath and whatnot. Um, but uh, what I'm saying is is that at the end, well, during, that, during um, the Amazing Spider-Man movies, like the not the first three with Tobey Maguire and not the last three, but the ones with Andrew Garfield, oh, everybody fucking hated it, you know, uh, fucking Gwen Stacy died. And everyone knows Spidey has, you know, he has multiple like wives and stuff, tens of thousands, girlfriends, soulmates and whatnot, and they're all divinely, what I'm saying is they're all divinely connected and time heals all, and they're divinely connected like Hail Mary. Because you know how she apparently she like died she died in the in the parallel universe one, because she she hit her head, and then that last one which is like me, I feel like that's more like me too because like Andrew Garfield's holding up Mary Jane and it's like the ultimate redemption of all the Spider Mans and my favorite part in the movie itself and it mostly because of course much like the Bible my name being David I see parallels to it that match my own life. <laughs> That's how God and angels and the Bible works too. So like, it pretty much just states, and then, and in the picture like, uh, and then at the end of that movie, the far from the last one, he says, "How's your head?" And it's Mary Jane, and she's like, she's working and everything, and it's pretty damn good, right? She's like, I don't even feel it no more. So not so it's like Gwen Stacy lives in her in a way that's like that's the ultimate thing is Peter Pan's love interest, like. The woman, the soulmate, is the wife, his wife, whatever, she, and she, and everything's gonna turn out good. So what I'm saying is, it's the most positive freaking ending ever, and it's awesome because it's pretty much not only, you know, it was sad as fuck when Gwen Stacy like died and all that, she hit her head, but the ultimate redemption is in the, the last Spider-Man, literally, because she not only is married, you know, she lives on in a world, whatever, on a different, you know, Mary Jane, um, Spider-Man's wife, his girl, his, his love interest, and, you know, his soulmate. And not only is she working and everything's fine, and she's definitely not dead. She's right there. She's doing great, you know, uh, with the uh, Peter Pan's buddy and all that, too, in the coffee shop. And, uh, you know, Libya Loco sent me dumpster here, but I wake her being Prince. I'm on my morning PT. It's a Sunday. I'm trying to make this a little bit quick. Uh, I got to put my videos down for a little bit just because of uh, um, Avenger purposes, 144 superheroes on Earth, right? <laughs> here at the beautiful one of our spots. So I just want to say that right there. Oh, look. Green White Ranger swag. Um, I'm kind of every right now because right I'm running. But to, 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 to explain all that, everything is going to be fine and everything works out even better. And much like the ending to the movie Elizabeth Town with, it, with death or whatever that may be, not literal death, of course, but of course, you know, I lost my brother Ben and then sad shit. Everybody loses, everybody loses people, right? We stick together, but there's life after that. Like the ending to the movie Elizabeth Town. And that's everything happening on, on in my life literally right now too. And it's beautiful at 28 years old, being a US Marine Corps veteran. My Mary Jane's always been there. I explained all that, I explained it before. I, I, post, I posted about it this morning too. You can see the awesome pictures of the Spider-Man and Mary Jane and the Gwen Stacy, his uh, wives, of course. Like he, he has two wives, soulmates, that's the whole point. And everything is fine with her, him holding both of them. They're all connected and they're all in love, you know, like, and everything's gonna be fine. And you know, she might've died or whatever, hit her head, but in the news one, he's like, hey, how's your head? Even though it's a different girl, which is awesome, which is so amazing, it's like Hail Mary. It's like the Black Panther Divine, Black Jag totem all in one. It's so cool. And then she's like, yeah, I mean, I don't even feel it no more. And she's sitting there working. Everything's fine. Isn't that the best ending ever, dude? Like, well, Jacob's always new beginnings, but you know what I'm saying. To the movie, I just had to say that and post it. That's pretty dope. All right, have a good one. I need to drink some water now. See ya. God bless you. Namaste. Peace.